Hey YouTubers, so today we will be talking about the production of ethyl benzene using the EB1 process. Generally, ethyl benzene is the intermediate used in the production of styrene monomer, common plastic material, solvent in inks, rubber, adhesives, varnishes, and paints, aromatic hydrocarbon, colorless liquid, and smells similar to gasoline. It's flammable and it's used in the production of styrene. Two common ethyl benzene technologies are the EB1 technology and the CDTEC EB. The one that we're using in this video is called EB1 technology. So first thing we need to know is the raw material used which are benzene and ethylene. Basically, benzene is an organic chemical compound. It is an aromatic hydrocarbon. It is a colorless liquid, highly flammable and it has a sweet smell. It is the nat natural constituent of crude oil. For ethylene, it is, it is a colorless flammable gas. It has a sweet and musky odor when, pers, uh, when it's pure. It is the simplest alkene and unsaturated hydrocarbon. It is important natural plant hormone. There are three principal reactions in this process which is alkylation number one, alkylation number two and transkylation. Alkylation, of, alkylation 1, uh, which is benzene, will react with ethylene. In presence of zeolite catalyst, will produce ethyl benzene. Ethyl benzene for alkylation number 1 will react with ethylene and produce diethyl benzene. Diethyl benzene from alkylation 2 will react with benzene and produce 2, two moles of ethyl benzene. Hey guys, next we're going to discuss about the Luma slash UOP EB1 technology. The technology was first commercialized in 1999 at Nippon Styrene Monomer Company in Japan. The technology basically was founded there and later on the two other EB plant were successfully opened up in 1994 which located at Misui Chemical and Chiba Styrene Monomer. Okay, the production of this plant um, nearly around 100 to 750 metric ton annually. So it is quite a lot and let's look at the process flow diagram. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, okay, let's look at the, at the EB1 process flow diagram. In this plant, it consists of two sections which is the reaction, reaction section and distillation section. Okay, in the reaction section, it consists of alkylation reactor and transalkylation reactor. Okay, let's focus to the alkylation reactor. At the bottom, ethylene and benzene was fed in this together, and also ethylene is fed to the top of the column. This alkylation reactor consists of zealot catalyst, which operating adiabatically. Process conditions are selected to keep the aromatic reaction mixture in the liquid phase. Excess benzene, excess benzene is used and ethylene is injected before each bath. Multiple, multiple ethylene injection points improve the selectivity and enhance this catalyst stability. In the alkylation reactor, ethylene reacts completely, leaving only the inert constituents of the feed such as ethane. This inert these inodes pass through the reactor and are removed from the plant as at, at a convenient point. So for the top product of the alkylation reactor, it consists of ethane, ethyl benzene, diethyl benzene, and benzene, which readily, which readily, readily will be fed to the benzene column in order to separate benzene from the mixture. Okay, next. At the alkylation reactor, there is consists of ethylene, benzene, diethyl benzene, and ethyl benzene, which is fed to benzene column. Okay, at here, the product will be separate in order to uh, to get to obtain the ethyl benzene and diethyl benzene. Okay, at the top product, uh, the benzene will be will be will be the overhead product and fed into the transpiration vector and alkylation vector in order to react with uh, the fresh ethylene and benzene. 
to to give the another reaction to produce ethylbenzene. So at the bottom of benzene column will consist of ethylbenzene and diethylbenzene, and it's fed into the ethylbenzene column. At the ethylbenzene, ethylbenzene column, ethylbenzene column will be will be the overhead product, and the bottom will be will be consist of diethylbenzene and diethylbenzene and ethylbenzene. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, try, no, 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 no. Try it to benzene. I'm sorry. Try it to benzene. And the bottom product will fed into polyethylbenzene column. At the polyethylbenzene column, uh, the overhead product will consist of diethylbenzene and triethylbenzene, which is fed into into a transkylation reactor to be recycled and you act with the fresh ethylene, ethylene and benzene and the bottom product of polyethylbenzene column will be flux oil flux oil which is used as fuel okay that's it thank you so next the two ethylbenzene gonna mix with the output from the alkylation reactor such as the ethyl ethylene benzene diethylbenzene and benzene compound to the benzene column uh, and later gonna process as described before to produce the ethyl benzene and that's the overall process about the EB1 process flow scheme so thank you hey it's not over yet I will explain the factor that will enhance the product rate of the final product uh, they have four factor which is ethyl benzene is present in the C8 aromatic stream, the the kinetic aspect of the ethyl benzene dehydrogenation, concentration of the fit, temperature and pressure. The first factor is present is C in the C8 aromatic stream coming from catalytic reforming and or from stream cracking in quantity ranging from from 10 up to 40%. Due to the low relative volatility of ethyl benzene or xylene system, the separation of ethyl benzene from the aromatic CA require a large number of trays and the high high refract ratio. These conditions are highly costly and the quantity of ethyl benzene from C8 cuts is usually lower than that from alkylation because of the large contaminant from xylene. However, the separation of ethyl benzene from the aromatic C8 cut improve the efficiency of following xylene isomerization and separation process. Therefore, this separation process perform will increase production of ethyl benzene. For the second factor, the kinetic aspect of ethyl benzene hydro hydrogenation were described as the reaction by unimolecular langway hensel wood mechanism. The preferred absorption of styrene can lead to the to a side blocking effect by the product. It is believed that water vapor does not does not participate in the reaction itself. In example not involved in the rate determining step of the reaction mechanism but act purely as in a dilution agent however as a discussion above it prevent the formation of inactive carbonic surface deposit and the reduction of the iron oxide to metallic ion by the product hydro hydrogen from reaction in a way this will increase the production rate as well next concentration of it General factor such as concentration of feed used, but whereby higher concentration use will result in higher yield, higher higher yield of product. The second, the fourth is temperature. The temperature also play an important role. It is vital to ensure that the process take place in a optimum temperature, or else. 
the product will be effect causing a decrease in production yield the lastly is pressure the pressure use is important to be monitored throughout the process to ensure the phase of product obtained is is as desired